What's up, everybody? Welcome to Podcast Now. I'm Alex, and in this video, I want to go over the top three best skills in Watch Dogs Legion. Now, like I do with all these videos, number one, these skills are normally up to you. Uh, in this game, you're going to end up unlocking pretty much everything. You also have different like tiers to them, so you can upgrade them even further. So you unlock something, and then you can upgrade it even more to make it more powerful. Uh, again, as you go through this game, you'll earn the tech points through either the missions, or also you will find tech points which they are literally everywhere getting to them are a little bit more difficult but by the end of this game if you're you know looking out you should be able to unlock and then upgrade pretty much everything in this game okay that's the first thing uh, to note but again generally when I make these videos obviously it's up to your play style it's up to how you want to do things I have my own picks and I've also looked online to see what other people are saying to see if maybe that uh, will influence it and these are the three that I think I found you could also take this as like the three skills to get in the beginning of the game, okay? These are maybe like the three most important ones agreed upon by me and, again, uh, a part of the internet. If you guys like that, make sure you guys are subscribed. Make sure you guys have the bell icon turned on. And also, if you guys haven't followed my Twitter, PodcastNow15 is my Twitter handle. The link for that will be in the description along with all of my other social media stuff, okay? Now, let's go through this. So, like I said, you know, tech points are what you need to look out for. You can get these through missions. You can get these uh, throughout the world. Uh, when you start up the game, you'll either automatically unlock the spider bot or the AR cloak, okay? Now, for me, I chose spider bot. This is one that I would say is the one that you should go for. Not to diss the AR cloak, because I have seen a lot of people, especially online, saying if you're into stealth, this I, I think this makes you literally invisible, and it helps break the line of sight with enemies. Now, even the way I play this game actually is a bit more stealthy. I don't like to get into the action. I actually don't like to pull out my guns unless I act, uh, absolutely have to because remember the game actually is kind of nice to you where if you use hand-to-hand -hand combat enemy will, will use hand-to-hand -hand combat if you use uh, you know actual weaponry they will use weaponry right so AR cloak I would say again it just kind of depends on your play style I chose the spider bot and I'll tell you why this is a top three well number one spider bot can be used to infiltrate you can kind of scope things out with the spider bot I really really like that that again that's kind of my play style where it's like all right let me get in there you can, of course, and I've done this before, maybe put the spider bot, go in with the spider bot into an area and then start jumping into the cameras. And then that's your kind of in to get to different areas. I guess you could do that just by yourself as well. But the spider bot helps that out as well as some tech points are, again, in pretty hard to reach areas. In fact, some of them you can only get by using. In fact, one of the very first tech points I ever found in the world, like the, the either the second or third one, was in a uh, kind of like a vent that you needed the spider bot in order to go in. So again, this is I would honestly this is essential that at some point you get. But honestly, considering you could get this right away, I would go for it. This will again help you pretty much like because again you can get to the tech points and now your spider bot can. So you pretty much covered all bases. And the more tech points you get, the more you'll be able to upgrade and then unlock other things. And the the spider bot can also have different things be done to them as well. I believe also cloaking is like the third upgrade to them. Really good because I also sometimes use them uh, for takedowns. Number two, and now again, uh, this is funny. I, I think this is a funny story. Maybe you guys won't care, but Deep Profiler is the second one, and I actually unlocked this kind of by accident. Like, I had tech points. I had something to spend. I was looking at all of the options, and this was like the second thing or I bought, like the second or third thing I bought, and I bought this Deep Profiler, and I didn't really even think anything of it, but when you read it into it. So then I like looked online, started reading into it. This is something that is, again, kind of a must. I guess not a hundred percent, but here's what a deep profiler does. It lets you access uh, anybody on the streets, their schedule. So it basically opens up a more uh, personality driven path to get them to join you. So remember, when you're out in the streets, it, the people that are there, if they have one thumb down, they don't like you. They don't like dead sec. They don't like you, but they could be persuaded. If they have two thumbs down, good luck. You are probably never going to get that person. The deep profiler makes it so that you can get those people because it opens up again where you can talk. You have to go up, I believe, and talk to them, but it helps you recruit. And remember, 
uh, the reason I say it's not 100% necessary, but it is kind of good, is oftentimes a lot of like the guards, a lot of like people with power in this game, like the the AI, just the, the NPCs on the street, they most likely don't like you, but if you can get them, not only are you getting them and their skills and their weapon if they have one, you know, whatever their traits are as an individual, but say they're a guard, you could be, if you eventually recruit them, you can use them to walk directly into any, you know, the enemy me territory that they belong to and you could you know go completely uh you know unnoticed right i think that is insanely insanely uh, like a positive thing that makes it a lot easier because again you know whether you're doing the story whether you're doing the side stuff there are many many uh opportunities or there's many situations where you are going to walk into enemy territory and if you have literally a recruit that can just go in there and do whatever they want without anybody noticing that and now again obviously if you start attacking people that's going to but if you're going in stealth you know like in a stealth way you take down people or you start hacking stuff that's the way to go so again funny story because i just bought it i it, it like it was something that stood out to me when you were looking at all of the different gadgets you can get and then once you look it up this is almost it's not a necessity but it's something that if you really want to be able to get anybody in this game or as close to anybody as you can this is the one to get and the third one is the disrupt hack now this was again decided on by the the large board of the internet as well as me so look you have uh you can distract people pretty much when you start the game when you start the game and you hack into people's i, I think it's normally their phones you can distract them where their phone will get, go off. And this has been a thing in Watch Dogs since the beginning, right? And it'll distract them. They'll have like a timer circle above their head. And for, you know, however long it may be, it's not all that long, but it actually is a, like, if you can't get whatever you want to get done in that amount of time, I think you, you're you just probably not trying hard enough, right? You do have a pretty long period of time uh, to be able to sneak around or whatever, but they're just distracted. It's something where they could very easily break out of that as well. And you're not really doing all that much. You're kind of just getting them to look somewhere else, maybe like look down at their phone or whatever. This disrupt hack will literally stop enemies from doing anything by it'll actually like hurt them. Like it'll be like a static shock or something that physically causes them pain. And so this is kind of taking, and again, the reason why I say this, there's other ones. There are plenty of other ones. And again, this goes into the conversation of pick whatever you want, pick whatever suits your play style. There is definitely more than this. There is like drone hacking that you can increase and stuff like that. If you're into hacking, you may want to go that way. If you're into stealth, you want to go more of a stealth you know, option with this. With me, this kind of is more of a stealth option too because this can get you out of a pickle very, very easily, right? Where if they are maybe looking for you where they don't actually see you, right? But they, they're maybe like scanning the area. To do this, I mean, this will take them completely out of the fight, allow you to get the takedown on them. And it's kind of just like a one-up thing from what you can already do. So yeah, you can kind of already do this, but it's kind of like the, it's like the beginner level, right? This is more of the advanced level. And so this is something that I would say go for it. But again, completely up to how you play. Uh, me, myself, again, I think these three things work really well for me, as well as other things. And again, as you go through this game, even just by doing the campaign missions, you will unlock more tech points. You should be able to get everything. You should be able to upgrade, you know, what you want to upgrade. Again, and obviously, again, you could look around uh, the town. I would say definitely the spider bot, in my opinion, is number one. And that deep profiler, if you want to super go into Watch Dogs Legion of literally being able to recruit anybody, those are two things that you should absolutely have and then the third one may be up to you i mean again if, if you feel like it right but no honestly uh, it's your choice as always right so let me know in the comments below guys what are your favorite skills or upgrades a lot of times uh, you know you guys give better suggestions sometimes than i give so let everybody else know in the comments what you're playing with in watchdogs as always make sure you guys are subscribed bell icon turned on gonna have more opinion videos over the next couple days as well talking about the uh, the game we already kind of talked about the future of the game as well. So look out for those coming very, very soon, okay? Thank you for watching, and I'll see you all on the next video.